Mike Chat. Yeah, we getting ready to do this in D.C. Taking shorty's show on the road. You want to make America great again? Well, you got to address America's hate again. It's Christmas Day. And Baltimore, Washington, D.C., Chicago, all across the world, you making America look like shit. You make America look like a childish, a child, a person that don't get his way. You want a wall up to stop the, the immigrants, but you ain't stopping the other crimes that's happening right here. You talk about making us safe. Who's going to make us safe from the homegrown terrorists? Who's going to make us safe from the police department? You ain't making us safe with a wall. You just getting somebody rich with that wall. Your contractors. Because that's how you know how to make money. You want to build that wall like you used to build casinos. And them walls don't mean nothing. Because if somebody want to come, they're going to come. Them walls ain't going to stop us. So you need to tell the truth and shame the devil. Lost a lot of money on the stock market yesterday because of you. So in 2019, introduce yourself to Shorty. Because I'm going to be in Washington, D.C. I'm going to be live. And I'm going to be talking about Donald Trump for the next two years. Four years if he win. All right. I'm going to talk about race and racism in America. We're going to talk about what made America great. Because the shit that's coming out your mouth makes America hate. I'm going to be the 500 pound gorilla in the room. And I'm not going to be DeRay McKenzie. My monkey got a blue vest. We're going to talk about black justice. We're going to talk about brown justice. And we're going to talk about white justice. And we're going to talk about it right here in Washington, D.C. I'm not hard to find. You feel me? Oh, early this Sunday morning, breakfast was on the table. This is a tourist town. All right, this is a tourist town. And I'm going to get a tourist something to see. I'm going to show them what being black and white America is. I'm going to show them what being black in America is, period. And I'm going to do it right here. Parking, 9 a.m. It's the art of protest. Three hour parking. So I'm gonna put my shit right here. I'm gonna be selling Donald Trump dolls and Donald Trump toilets. And I'm gonna have Chucky promoting my shit. It's the art of getting money, and I know how to get money. You feel me? Godspeed. It's the art of getting money. How much for the little doggy in the window? We're gonna talk about Hogan. Cause Hogan thought it was cute when he gave me this puppy for 2016. Well, I'm going to give it back to you in 2019. I'm re-gifting a gift. We're going to talk about the art of getting money. In your Senate, in your Congress, you have a war on drugs. And that war on drugs is illegal because all it is is incarcerating the black community. You got white people that use opioids. I don't see you locking them up. Quiet as hell. So I'm going to start coming up to Washington, D.C. during Black History Month. And I'm going to have Chucky here. I'm going to have my monkey here. Because we're talking about black and brown people. And I'm going to start showing the politicians that get paid to exploit black people. Just because you're the first black mayor don't mean that you care about black people. You exploit black people. You got the haves and the have-nots. And you're keeping that divide going. You feel me? Because I gave you this information about your prison industry in Lake County. Because this is where it started at. But this is where it's going to end at. Under the Constitution of the United States, Johnny Orleski, you have a, 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 a criminal complaint against Scott Schellenberger. If you don't take that criminal complaint against Scott Schellenberger, I got a right to take that complaint that you have to the United States Supreme Court under writ of sociority, Article 3. We're going to put the war on drugs to the constitutional test. We're going to put it to the Supreme Court. You locked me up for terrorism. I'm not a terrorist. I'm a political prisoner. So now, since I'm a political prisoner, you're going to have to give me the rights that a political prisoner gets. We're going to go to court in the next 365 days. You're going to give me what you owe me, 
You're going to prosecute Scott Schellenberger. You're going to prosecute Governor O'Malley and his 52 politicians for corruption in the courts behind the war on drugs. Or we going to the Supreme Court. It's the art of getting money. Dwayne Davis versus the state of Maryland. That's when you sent police to my house and put guns to my head. That's from 2010. That's 2011. I won my case. I'm innocent of all charges. Now, I gave Johnny Orleski this, and I'm going to mail this to Governor Hogan, so there ain't no misunderstandings. That's the Supreme Court. All right? And I got to write the property. You got to stand for something, or you're going to fall. You got to stand. That's me. You got to stand for something, or you're going to fall for anything. You feel me? That's me. See that? February 13th, United States District Court, Honorable Judge Bennett. I'm a whistleblower on the courts and the corruption in the courts in Lake County and Baltimore County Courts. Bobby Zirkin, Judiciary Chairman. Valario. Val Zirkin is blocking this because Zirkin is part of the corruption. It's about being black in America and the Underground Railroad. I created the Underground Railroad. I recreated. And that's my store and that's what I created. Been in business since 97. I'm shorty. All shares are shorty. I am Dred Scott. I own myself. That's me. President. I own myself and I own my business. And I'm insured with brother insurance. You feel me? Bank of America. These are the forged checks while I was locked up illegally in Illinois. These are the forged checks. Block party gets bigger and better. This shows my worth in the community. You feel me? And this is what I'm here in D.C. for. That's Chief Justice Roberts of the Supreme Court. I wrote Chief Justice Roberts of the Supreme Court a letter in 2007 because I was going to make a documentary about the war on drugs. The war on drugs is a racist war. And that's what it was. You locked me up in two different states. You locked me up in Illinois. And you locked me up in Maryland for exposing the war on drugs and the racism, racism in our judicial system. So in 2019, I got 365 days to make it to the Supreme Court. We're going to put this case in the Supreme Court. Because I informed the court of my actions. So we're going to put everything I've been going on since 2007 in front of the court. Congressman Cummings, Sarbanes, Mikulski, Cardins, Ruppersberger. You had full knowledge of everything I was doing. I informed you and the courts. Don't hate the player, baby. Hate the game. I want my freedom. I want my life. And I'm going to show black people how to get it. You feel me? Early this Sunday morning. I ain't got nothing to hide. People pay attention to dumbass shit. People pay attention to dumbass shit, and this is a tourist town. So they'll see Chucky, and they'll see the monkey, and I'm going to have a toilet up here. And I'm going to pay for my parking. The art of protest. Right here. I'm going to get here before the vendors do. You feel me? Because the vendors is looking for spaces too. So we got a jockey for positions. And this is a good position to be in. I pick my fights. We're going to put black on the map. We're going to put slavery on, on, the, on the docket. We're going to see what you're going to do about me. I'm out $2.6 million. I own my property. I never sold any shares of shorties. The state, the government participated in fraud. I asked for an IRS audit 10 years ago. You're 10 years too late. You charging DeSouza with crimes? You're gonna have to charge Jake Davis, James Hammond, Brother Insurance, Bank of America with crimes too. And you're gonna start with Governor O'Malley and Schellenberger. Mike check! Yeah, it's gonna be just like that.